Well, hi everybody. Good evening, everybody. Fit Flame Dragon. Fit Flame Dragon. Hi everybody. I hope you guys are all being safe, social distancing. Yes, Toronto is in a lockdown right now. Canada, yes. Let's make the most of it, everybody. You know, I'm all about nutrition and health, wealth. That's the latest thing right now. So it's been a while since I did video on cooking on what I eat. Like I said, these videos are not going to be in random order. This is these videos are just going to be due. Sometimes I feel like cooking. Sometimes I feel like working out. So it's been like I said. There's so many videos that I'm going to be covering, especially with nutrition and all and everything, and what I eat. And get ready because my birthday's coming up next month. Everybody, I'll be 48. And that'll be a special video, January 4th. Keep that in mind. So hello everybody. Fit Flame Dragon here. Tell everybody, yes, Fit Flame Dragon. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome. I hope you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yes, I wear some of the funkiest outfits. What can I say? The 90s. So this was the style back then. But you know what? It's also my workout attire. It's called, I call it the One Piece Everlast. <laughs> so welcome. Today's video will be about... It is Friday, so it's going to be called Special Friday. I call it Special Day at my house. We all have a special day, sweet tooth and all that. It's a, I call it pancakes. My whole wheat, oatmeal, cocoa, cinnamon, I call them colon cleansers. And not only that, they clean you up the next day. I don't want to sound like I'm ew. But they truly do the job. Not only that, they give me a fantastic leg day. Because tomorrow, it's legs, squats. And I got to have my carbs. I got to have my high density carbs that actually help my body, my colon, fiber. And it's nutritious and delicious and healthy. And we're going to make it today. I'm going to prep this stuff, see, knees on plus, I'll show you exactly what I have here, one by one, we'll go through it, okay, and then we will make the batch, all right, so, my pancakes, all right, everybody, uh, you see, I have two bowls, this is my dry section, and this is my wet section, when you start off to make whole wheat, oatmeal, cocoa, cinnamon pancakes, you have to separate two bowls separately, okay? So you can put the wet stuff in the dry stuff, okay? And I've got my measuring cups. That's right. It's all about size. This is a cup, everybody. I'm going to show you. It's a cup for the flour, oatmeal, how much you need. This is a tablespoon, one tablespoon. And this is a teaspoon. It's no different than those little teaspoons you have in your drawer and a tablespoon. So I just use it because I measure, okay? So we're going to start off with the dry batch, all right? Now, because it is COVID, and sometimes it's so hard to find in the store, I have backup plan, okay? I'm going to take all my ingredients out of my bowl, and we're going to mix it. We're going to do it together, okay? So, here's my bowl. <laughs> Friday is a special day. It's also my day off from training, so that's why I'm happy, everybody. Not only that, I call it the rest day, and I get back into the mode tomorrow, all right? So, there's my nice stainless steel bowl. I start off with whole wheat flour. <gasps> you see that? That's in French. Whole wheat flour, organics, all right? Now... 
There's another brand of whole wheat flour. I haven't tried almond flour, but for myself, I find if you're gluten, stay away from it. But anyone that can handle whole, whole wheat, kudos. Anyone that has colon issues or fiber, whole wheat. Alright? So, here's my measuring one cup. And we're going to do two cups. So there's a cup. One cup. <gasps> there's the other cup. So there's two. Alright? So, I set this aside. And there he is. Two cups. Okay? So, next thing is, you know guys, I'm all about the organics. Organics. Organics, that's right, organics. See that? Quick oats, oatmeal. Now, I put that in here, one cup. See, one cup, that's all you need. Mix it in. And I set this aside. So remember everybody, this is called, remember in the beginning, mise en place, you prepare everything. So, now I'm all about cinnamon everybody. This is a no mean brand cinnamon, okay? I don't really measure it. I go for, I go for like maybe two capsules of this. So I just go like this. I like my pancakes with a cinnamon flavor. See? One, two, or sprinkle around. It's it's a personal choice. Okay? I like them. Cinnamon is very good for you. It has a lot of little different antioxidants from what I know. It's kind of like apples and cinnamon. So there it is. Cinnamon. Okay? Now, here's another one for the chocolate lovers. <gasps> Hershey's cocoa, natural, pure cocoa, nothing, no sugar, no nothing. Now, this is a new pack. I have to open it because it's a brand spanking new pack. It smells just like chocolate. So, this tastes like a cake mix. I usually use about a third. I use this, see, because it's dry mix. So there it is. I sprinkle it in my bowl. Whew. Excuse me. <laughs> now. There it is. I mix it in in there a little bit. So those are all my dry stuff. Now, sugar. Okay, I know there's people out there that are diabetic sugar. I try to stay away from sugar, limit as much sugar as I can. But when it comes to pancakes, everybody, I would have to say this is the complete wow. Coconut sugar. All right? I'm going to use up the rest of that because my grocery list is coming next week. <laughs> so I'm running out short. So in the stores, I couldn't find any. I have organic sugar, cane, pure cane sugar, organic. All right. Now remember, tablespoon. I use usually, I use usually five tablespoons. I call them heaping, like mound. So I'm gonna, I'm guessing there's two in here. Okay, so there's one, two, yeah, about two. So that's, that's finished. Two. Use it all up. That's good, I use that up. Set that aside. Now I have three tablespoons 
of regular sugar. I mean, regular, excuse me, cane sugar. See? Three. Four. Oh, I think I put a little too much. It happens. That's okay. I got a lump in. How did I know I was going to get a lump in here? I got a lump. That's okay. I'm going to work extra hard for my pancakes tomorrow. <laughs> Leg day. So, I set that aside and I put it all here. Now, I'm going to mix this. They're going to be extra sweet. Oh my goodness. All right. Now, in case you're wondering what kind of syrup to use, I use diet syrup. Okay. You can use applesauce too. Sometimes I change it. And real butter. Or margarine. So I mixed it. There's my dry food. I dry. There is my dry pancake mix. See that? Mixed it in all in there. All right. So. Now, if you should happen to see me leave near the end of the video, because when I'm mixing this, sometimes you need to add water because the whole wheat is very fiber, and I have water here in my basement, but I would have to run and get it. So, we're going to, we'll do that near the end. Now, so that's dry. On to the wet stuff. And I have to go wash my hands because of the eggs. It'll be raw, right? When I crack them. So here's the vanilla. So we're going on now to the wet. For more flavor, I use vanilla. Okay? You can use the real stuff. Sometimes I can't find it in the store, so this is my backup. Because like I said, stores lately with COVID, you can't find it. I just go for taste. As much as I can, I just put like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight. I count. I love vanilla. Between chocolate and vanilla, I'm a vanilla. I may no vanilla chick, but I love my vanilla. <laughs> okay, so I set that aside. Now, okay, everybody. Now, here comes milk. Remember, you guys said I was lactose. I am lactose. I find a substitute. Sometimes I don't have milk. I use organic soy silk, unsweetened. Very, very good for you. So, I use two cups from the same list. Two cups. One and two. So, now, oh wait, I did forget one ingredient, everybody. My bad. We can't forget the baking powder in the dry. So, go back. I, I messed up. I apologize. Okay. Again. Baking powder. Four heaping spoons. Here's my dry. Four heaping spoons. One, two, or the little teaspoon. Four teaspoons. I will write that in my YouTube uh, in my YouTube description. So there it is. So we can't. We have to make those pancake rice, right? So there it is. There's all the dry. All right. Mix it. So we have that here. We have the vanilla and the soy in here. Now the the most important thing that we need in here. Our eggs. I have organic, free-range eggs. Cost more, healthier. So that said, here's my eggs. We're going to crack these bad boys. 
All right, now, I wish I could crack with one, oh, I can crack with one hand, but I can't. <laughs> so, now we're gonna crack the other one. And there it is. Okay, now I am going to wash my hands because I'm all about contamination, everybody. Now, my hands are clean, so I might as well mix all this, okay? Because I find when you mix the hands in here, you put the wet in here. So, and you find sometimes it's lumpy, the wet goes in the dry. Sometimes you find that this stuff is very lumpy because of the whole wheat, all right? I use my hands. If you could see that, I use my hands, but it does work. I find, I know it's weird, but it's a personal choice, all right? Call me old school. Now, I'm going to go run and grab my water because you can tell it's lumpy. All right, because we're doing this together. Because you can tell it gets lumpy, right? So I will be back because we want it runny, right? I will be back, grab my water. So give me a few minutes. Well, thank you for waiting, everybody. <laughs> hey, things like this happen in baking or when you're cooking. So for that, here's a flex. All right? All right, everybody, flex. Okay, I know I'm funny. <laughs> I make myself laugh. Because of this batch, it got all, uh, how can I say? It got all lumpy. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to cook. We're gonna have to make it moisty. So I have water. Okay. The consistency has to be runny. What can I say? You can use your spoon, but I find this way when I use my hands, fingers. I could tell if it's runny. I add a little more water because we want the batch to be runny, not lumpy. Nobody likes lumpy, bumpy pancakes, right? So you can see that it's starting to become all nice and wet and lumpy. This is kind of hilarious <laughs> when you don't have, uh, you know, Sometimes you have to eyeball things, but there it is. <gasps> okay, so now I'm going to add a little more. So basically I have, I almost used half of this water bottle, okay? Now I can see that my batch, now it's not lumpy, see? <gasps> oh my goodness, look at that. That's what I want, the consistency. So when I use my fingers, that's the consistency I want. So it's perfect how it's coming out. All right, everybody. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video because we just made the pancake batch with all the ingredients here I listed. Now remember, before you uh, preheat the oven, or preheat, the, preheat your stove with the pan, okay? Smear it, make sure it's non-stick consistency. Uh, butter, I find real butter to use on the pants. Put it on medium heat. Heat up the butter, real butter. Or, like I said, there's unsalted ones that I buy, and you can make that, and you can put use a ladle, and then you can flip these. You'll know when they start to, the bubble starts to open up, okay? 
So I just made my batch, pre-made this batch because I will be cooking it probably in about five minutes or so, <laughs> or 10 minutes after I wash up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though with my finger and hand in here, but my hands are clean. I've washed them consistently, but like I said, you want to make sure you see that? It is, yeah, so I'll be using ladles, and I hope you guys enjoyed that, because I sure as heck enjoyed doing it, <laughs> and I, running over to get the water, because sometimes it happens where you have to fix up the recipe, you find it's too lumpy, and that's okay, add water, water always does the trick. Okay, everybody, so I hope you enjoyed the video, alright, and there will be tons of videos also in, in nutrition, working out, as you guys can see, I'm slowly building up my gym. It's there. I recently purchased mats, so that'll be in another video. Joints, pain, things like that. Uh, working out, like I've done stretches, and more recipes. So Friday is a special day today, pancake day. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya. Friday, Friday, Friday. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit me up, email me, bbs underscore Gerard at hotmail.com. So if you want any training advice, nutrition advice, hey, I can be your trainer. <laughs>